Hey, what's up, guys? Everyone, 94 back again with another action figure review. Today, we are looking at the Hasbro Star Wars The Black Series Battle Droid figure number 83 in the series, or numbered 83 on the box. Here is the description in the back where you can pause the video if you wish to read it. And if you guys want to pick this figure up, you can do so at BigBadToyStore.com. I'll put a link down below in the description where you guys can pick it up uh, for yourself. So it took Hasbro about six years to release a battle droid from Episode 1. I believe Black Series started in 2013, but yeah, it's been quite a while, and here he is finally. Uh, you can start army building your Black Series battle droids i think they even have an option to order a case of eight in case you are in that category of collectors that likes to army build so that is an option for you guys uh, but first and foremost uh, it looks great i like the details on him i like the battle damage scuff marks and uh, silver paint that they added onto the figure to make it look like he's been in battle and that's something that hasbro has always done good with black series figures they did it with boba fett and they went ahead and did it here. Uh, so let's get on to the accessories real quick. Only a few accessories. We get his blaster rifle, of course. And we get that nice paint job with the uh, dry brush over the black. So it looks great. And then we have the little antenna that you can attach to the backpack of the battle droid. So here's a closer look at that battle damage effect that they added on to him. Looks good all over the figure, all throughout, onto the back. One of the first things I did notice was posing him, well not posing him, but just standing him up uh, was a little difficult. He's a little hard to stand up, just straight up, so you can only imagine how difficult he'll be posing. Uh, but he, he tends to want to fall back, you just got to play with the balance a little bit. Um, but yeah, he's, he's a little difficult to, to get to stand up uh, correctly without falling over. The backpack is removable here on the back, so you can take that off if you wish. And I can only see, this is the only spot I see where you can attach these antennas, is the uh, pegs once you remove the backpack, if you wish. Uh, you can, I guess it makes sense to put it on this side here, like that. And now you have it out, but there's no backpack. Uh, now if you do have the backpack on, well, let's take a look at this real quick. Um, there's not really a peg for this to peg onto the backpack. There is this little slot, but it's not big enough for for the peg here. So obviously it doesn't go on that side. Uh, but anyways, this attaches to the back as we saw. And then we do have another set of antennas here that you can extend out um, to have over the shoulder like this. And you can collapse it down too if you don't want it uh, exposed out. Uh, so yeah, uh, the head is going to swivel left and right, right here on the neck. We also get a swivel at the top of the head here, so you can swivel it above the ball joint and it goes up and down. The back piece of the head is also hinged here, so you can see uh, that moves around, so when he looks up, it moves down, and then you can move, move it back down like that. Uh, so good range overall, the articulation is very similar to the SH Figures version. So that's nice to see. The arms is going to go forward and back. It does go in and out about this far right here. So that's as far as he'll go. We get a bicep swivel. Uh, we get a single jointed elbow, but it does bend further more than a 90 degree bend. Uh, you can bend it the other way too. We get a forearm swivel or an elbow swivel if you want to say. There's a wrist swivel with a hinge at the wrist. Uh, and the fingers are not articulated. They're just posed like that. As for the torso, we get a, a little swivel here. You can kind of see how the plastic will twist. Uh, that's as far as it will let it go. But you can get a little swivel. And forward and back movement is about this much here. So, uh, very similar to the SHV yours from what I remember. The legs will move forward and back. Kicks all the way up. So, that's pretty nice. Let's get further back here. So, kicks up. Goes all the way back. Uh, in and out is not going to happen. But you don't need it to because they don't. They don't open their legs like that. Uh, as for thighs, it doesn't swivel. You can kind of get a little bit of a, you know, socket joint here. And then the the uh, the knees will bend all the way. So that's nice if you want to collapse him down uh, before they, you know, when they get unloaded off the vehicles. You can get them couched um, in the fetal position here. So that's nice to see that you can pose them like that. Uh, so the legs are highly articulated. You can bend them forward too. Uh, the 
ankles will hinge forward and back and we do get a swivel at the ankle. So I figured out what the peg on the side of the backpack was it's actually for the uh, the rifle or the blaster rifle. Uh, I should have known but you know it didn't, it didn't come to mind but yeah this is for his rifle he can peg it in and holster it there uh, very nicely it'll sit there. I just uh, didn't think of it. So, so yeah, you don't have to ambush me in the comments anymore. And we can see here that he holds his gun beautifully. Very nice tight grip. Will not fall off. Uh, the articulation just is, is perfect for this too. You can get it in, in various poses. Uh, so it's good. I'm happy about that. All right, so here's our comparison that we've been waiting for. This is the SH Figure Wars version compared to the Black Series version. And man, does the Black Series version hold up. Very nice figure for $20 for sure. Uh, major difference, of course, is the height here uh, and the, uh, the color. I almost said skin color, but <laughs> the paint on the droid is different. Uh, like I said already, I, mean, I like the battle damage markings on the Black Series version. That is always nice to have. The uh, SHV Wars version is a little cleaner, but it also does have a uh, a little bit of some you know some scuff marks on there. You know, Bandai did some uh, some form of battle damage, there, just not to the extent of the Hasbro's Black series. So uh, there is that. They both hold their guns well. I, I do notice that there's a little bit more articulation on SHV Wars, which is of course that is uh, to be expected. Uh, his fingers do articulate to at least hinges uh, twice. Um, uh, on the fingers if that makes sense so on that part and on this part of the SH figure course version it does hinge so we get some more articulation there uh, but for the most part the black series one is a very nice alternative for the price for sure uh, and it's it's gonna look great with your your black series because it's it's what scales with them so our only other option to have with our black series if you're only a black series collector was the sh figures version and since it scales so short you know it didn't look right but now uh, now we finally got ours for black series so here's just a closer shot of the two so you can kind of see them uh, up close and see uh, more of the details um, so you can kind of see the differences there. They did shade or outline all the the, uh, the outline parts of the armor, if that makes sense, uh, with a color there, so it makes it pop. So that's nice about the SH Figures one. Uh, but they do both have very similar articulation uh, points to each other. So here he is next to the prototype uh, version of the Battle Droid by SH Figures, where C-3PO's head gets connected by accident on it. Uh, this was released with a regular head too, but of course I'm going to display it with C-3PO on there. Uh, and this is just how he stacks up. It's the same exact body sculpt as the previous SH Figures one I just showed you. Just red and with the C-3PO head. Alright, next to some other Black Series figures, we have the Luke Skywalker Pilot Luke. This was actually the first uh, release of it. This was not the re-release by the Archive Wave. But it doesn't matter anyways, it's the same height and the same figure just wanted to throw that out there there he is next to my yoda and this yoda I actually swapped the heads out and i kind of did a semi custom not really a custom but this was actually one of the uh, head swaps that a lot of people were doing at the time uh, actually to be more accurate maybe a couple people were doing um, but anyways this was from my gunball machine so this head represents the uh episode three um or the prequel versions of yoda since uh, Hasbro never made a prequel version of Yoda, they just did the original trilogy. Uh, you just chop the head off the gumball machine and we stick it onto this one and I black washed it. So I, I put some black wash and it makes it look amazing. Uh, but that's where that's from in case I get any questions uh, about that. I actually made a video a long time ago, one of my older videos about it. So check that out in case you guys are interested. And there he is next to the Black Series Captain Rex. Alright, random comparison time. Let's take a look at him next to the Mezco 112 Collective. Jason Voorhees just recently reviewed. Check out that review in case you missed out. Stand up, Jason. Here we have him next to the SH figure. It's Dragon Ball Z Vegeta figure. This guy makes a appearance in almost all of my reviews. Uh, so here he is again. All right, droid and half droid, I guess you can say. Here he is next to the NECA TMNT Target exclusive Krang just recently reviewed as well and we must get him next to a turtle too so here he is next to Donatello and there he is next to the Mafex Amazing Spider-Man and next to Hasbro Marvel Legends why not the one and only Mr. Stark I don't feel so good suited Tony Stark 
Alright guys, thanks for tuning in to my review of the Star Wars The Black Series Battle Droid figure. Very nice uh, grab, very nice pickup. Hope you guys enjoyed my review of him. Go out and get them for sure. I think this one's going to be clearing the pegs. You won't find them for a long time on pegs. And if you do, I do recommend you picking him up. It's a very nicely done figure. Hopefully you did enjoy the review. I know I just said that. But uh, for some reason, uh, my last review, people were saying that I didn't sound like myself. Whatever that means, I'm fine. I, I don't get how I sounded differently. But anyways, hopefully I sounded a little bit better this review. Um, I do have personal stuff going on, but it's... Uh, it's nothing too crazy, so I'm good. Uh, as always, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, and have a great day. Bye. Ah!